Well, hi there. Every now and then, you watch a video that ends with one of those lines that just sticks in your head for years. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I'll be right here. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. There's no place like home. But not long ago, I watched a video that put them all to shame. It was a video from the BBC about elephant seal combat and mating. We'll put a link to it down in the description in case you want to watch it yourself. It talked a lot about elephant seals. They are animals with huge size differences between males and females. Males are many times larger than females. And this is because males need to fight for opportunities to mate. It says that only one in 10 males ever succeed in fathering some pups. And the fights can be brutal. Even if you win, you're torn to shreds and losing could cost you your life. The video shows an intense fight between two males in which both survive, but both are also savaged by the confrontation. When the victorious male returns to his harem of females, the video blindsides us with one of the more shocking realities in all of nature and one of the most unforgettable lines in cinematic history. Although it looks as though competitive males have sex all their own way. They don't. And I know that years from now, you're still going to wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat thinking, but why? And to begin to get to the bottom of that question, I want to point your attention to what the females are doing during this battle. And indeed, almost every battle that you will see between males anywhere in nature. And that is that they aren't paying any attention to it. They don't care. They aren't all sitting up on the beach thinking, whoever wins this fight, I'm going to let him have sex all his own way. In fact, that male probably has very little to do with why they're on that beach. They're on that beach because it's a great beach. It's a safe beach with good sun and great access to food and other resources. There's really only one problem with this beach. That guy. That big dumb male that nearly tramples you from time to time gets in stupid fights and is always trying to have sex all his own way. But about one day a year, you wake up and you're like, well, hey, you big lug. You're not so bad. I don't know why I used to think you were so annoying. And when that day comes, he is ensured that he will be the only male around. But that brings us to another big question. Feel free to shout out your answer or Write your thoughts in the comments if you're in a location where shouting an answer might seem inappropriate. Polygamy is better for males or females? I think the answer is pretty obvious, but let me put it to you this way. Elephant seals are polygamous. About what percentage of females get to breed? About all of them. How about the males? Do you remember? It was about 10%. So if you're the lowest quality female on the beach, with whom would you breed? With the highest quality male. But what if this were a monogamous system? If you were the lowest quality female on the beach, with whom would you breed? The lowest quality male, if there are enough males to go around. Now what if you are the lowest quality female on the polygamous beach, but you didn't want to be in a polygamous system, with whom would you breed? the best of the 90% of males that never get a chance to breed. You'd come walking up like, hi, excuse me, I, I don't mean to bother you, but I was wondering if you'd be interested in a monogamous relationship. And he'd be like, are you messing with me? Are you messing with me? That's a pretty cruel thing to, are, are you serious? Are you being serious right now? Well, yeah! Come on over! This is my beach! It's not the best beach around, but my beach is your beach! I can't believe this is happening! Yeah! Right? So in the end, who decides if it's going to be a monogamous or a polygamous system? I mean, all the other females on the other beach could just go out to forage for food one day and never come back and there would be nothing that the big lug could do about it, right? So who decides? It's the females. What really matters is how much help they need raising offspring. If they need a lot of help, then selection will favor females that elect to be in a monogamous relationship. 
And if they don't need help, then it will favor the females that live on the best beach and have access to the best genes. And now you know. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you'd like to learn more in the future, please subscribe and click the little bell. And we hope to see you real soon.